Hollywood, the land of dazzling lights and fleeting fame, can be just as unforgiving as it is enchanting. Today, we crack open the vault and peek behind the curtain to explore 20 actors who, for various reasons, have faded from the spotlight. Were they victims of scandal? Did they simply fall out of favor? Join us as we uncover the stories behind their absence and celebrate their undeniable contributions to the silver screen. Number 20. Brendan Fraser Brendan Fraser was once a megastar in Hollywood, gracing the silver screen from the 1990s to the 2000s. He starred in blockbuster hits like The Mummy, where he played the charming and adventurous Rick O'Connell, battling resurrected ancient Egyptian monsters. He also captivated audiences with his comedic roles in George of the Jungle and Encino Man, showcasing his impressive humor and ability to make audiences laugh. Fraser seemed unstoppable, poised to conquer Hollywood and take on even bigger roles, he was even cast in the first Journey to the Center of the Earth movie, another potential franchise to add to his already impressive resume. However, things took an unexpected turn. He disappeared from the limelight, and his once promising career stalled. The reason for his sudden absence, according to Fraser himself, was a dark and disturbing one. He alleged that he was blacklisted from Hollywood after being assaulted by Philip Burke, a former president of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Frazier reported to have been groped at a Beverly Hills hotel by the former president. This shocking revelation cast a shadow over his career and undoubtedly played a significant role in his disappearance from the public eye. Despite facing immense challenges, Fraser never gave up on his passion for acting. He continued to work on smaller projects and television shows, honing his craft and waiting for the right opportunity to make his comeback. And his perseverance finally paid off. In 2022, he landed several notable roles, including a critically acclaimed performance in The Whale, where he portrays a reclusive English teacher struggling with obesity and grief. His powerful performance has garnered widespread praise and reignited interest in his talent. Fraser's journey has been marked by both immense success and devastating setbacks. However, his recent resurgence shows that his talent and resilience are undeniable. Whether he fully reclaims his former megastar status remains to be seen. And the Oscar goes to... <laughs> Brendan Fraser. <laughs> the whale! Number 19. Katherine Heigl. In the world of film and television, you hear whispers of actors who can be tricky to work with. But Katherine Heigl's story comes with a twist. Not only was she allegedly challenging on set, but she also wasn't afraid to speak her mind about the very projects that propelled her to superstardom. Heigl captured hearts playing Dr. Izzy Stevens on Grey's Anatomy, a fierce and dedicated surgeon with a big heart. But behind the scenes, things were brewing. There were reports of clashes between Heigl and the show's creative team, leading to tension and frustration. Ultimately, Dr. Izzy's journey on the show came to an end written out of the script after six seasons. Things got even more complicated when Heigl withdrew her name from the Emmy consideration for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series. Her reasoning? She didn't feel the writing did justice to Izzy's character that season. This bold move raised eyebrows and fueled rumors of discontent. And then came the controversial comments about the movie, Knocked Up, which she starred in alongside Seth Rogen. Heigl called the film a little sexist, sparking a debate about gender representation in comedies. Following her departure from Grey's Anatomy, Heigl continued to work in romantic comedies, but none quite captured the same magic as her earlier successes. The difficult label, whether fair or not, seemed to stick. Number 18. Hayden Christensen while the Star Wars prequels hold a special place in some hearts, it's true that they faced mixed reactions from fans and critics alike. Even some actors involved in the films haven't been shy about expressing their own criticisms. But for Hayden Christensen, who played Anakin Skywalker, the fallout seemed harsher, impacting his career trajectory. Before Star Wars, Christensen was building a promising career with critically acclaimed roles in films like Life as a House and Shattered Glass. He showcased versatility and acting chop, earning respect in the industry. However, stepping into the iconic role of Anakin, particularly with some of the dialogue choices made for the prequels, proved challenging. Some memorable lines, like the infamous Sand monologue, became meme fodder, this is where the fun begins. It's, it's definitely a good one. Uh, 
and unfortunately overshadowed his performance for many viewers. This, coupled with the commercial and critical performance of the prequel trilogy, led to a downturn in Christensen's career. Several projects he took on after Star Wars struggled at the box office, and for a while, he stepped back from the Hollywood spotlight. He took this time to pursue other interests, including spending time on a farm. However, his love for Star Wars and the character of Anakin never faded. In 2022, he made a return to the franchise, reprising his role in the Disney Plus series Obi-Wan Kenobi. This was met with excitement and anticipation by many fans, eager to see him revisit Anakin with the maturity and experience he's gained as an actor. Whether this return marks a full-fledged Hollywood comeback for Christensen remains to be seen. Number 17. Tobey Maguire Tobey Maguire's portrayal of Spider-Man in Sam Raimi's trilogy captured the hearts of fans worldwide. and cemented his place as one of the most beloved iterations of the web-slinging hero. Even with Andrew Garfield and Tom Holland's subsequent takes on the role, Maguire's Peter Parker holds a special place in many fans' hearts. His journey as Spider-Man started in 2002 and spanned three successful films, propelling him to superstardom. He embodied the awkwardness and vulnerability of Peter Parker while seamlessly transitioning into the heroic Spider-Man. His chemistry with Kirsten Dunst as Mary Jane Watson that girl, the girl next door, Mary Jane Watson, added another layer of emotional depth to the films. However, after Spider-Man 3 in 2007, the Web Slinger's cinematic future took a different turn. Plans for a fourth film were scrapped, and Maguire's appearances became less frequent. Some speculate that he struggled to move past the iconic role, finding it difficult to shed the Peter Parker persona in other projects. This resulted in a period where he took on fewer roles, choosing to be selective about the characters he portrayed. Despite the hiatus, Maguire's impact on the superhero genre and his connection with Spider-Man fans remained undeniable. This was evident in his triumphant return as Peter Parker in 2021's Spider-Man No Way Home. His presence alongside Andrew Garfield and Tom Holland sent audiences into a frenzy, proving that his Spider-Man still holds immense weight and nostalgia. Number 16. Kirk Cameron Kirk Cameron's journey in the limelight has been a unique one, marked by early childhood stardom and a later shift towards focusing on his Christian faith. Here's a look at his story. Cameron began his acting career at a young age, appearing in various TV shows and commercials before landing the iconic role of Mike Seaver in the sitcom Growing Pains in 1985. For seven seasons, he won hearts with his portrayal of the mischievous yet endearing teenager. He also starred in films like Like Father Like Son and Listen to Me, which further solidified his status as a popular young actor. In the early 1990s, Cameron's focus started to shift towards his Christian faith. He became increasingly vocal about his beliefs, both on and off screen. While he continued to act in occasional projects, his public persona became more centered on his religious views. Cameron's outspoken nature about his faith often sparked controversy. He expressed strong opinions on various social issues, particularly regarding homosexuality and LGBTQ rights, often aligning with conservative Christian viewpoints. This stance led to criticism and accusations of intolerance, ultimately contributing to a distancing from mainstream Hollywood. Cameron's career as an actor in mainstream Hollywood productions has decreased in recent years. However, he remains active in promoting his Christian beliefs through various platforms. He co-founded The Way of the Master Evangelistic Ministry, hosts a Christian radio talk show, and has authored several books. Number 15. Roseanne Barr Roseanne Barr, known for her comedic talent and strong opinions, has navigated a complex terrain in Hollywood. A vocal supporter of former President Donald Trump, she became a controversial figure, particularly for her outspoken political views expressed on social media. The turning point came in May 2018, when Barr posted a racist tweet about Valerie Jarrett, a senior advisor to President Barack Obama. The offensive content sparked immediate outrage and condemnation. Despite her apologies and deleting the tweet, the consequences were swift. ABC, the network behind the successful Roseanne reboot, responded by abruptly canceling the show that same day. This incident undoubtedly impacted Barr's career. While she continued to perform stand-up comedy and engage in online activities, opportunities in mainstream Hollywood roles significantly decreased. Number 14. Monique Monique, a.k.a. Monique Angela Hicks, 
carved her path in showbiz through stand-up comedy and her hilarious portrayal of Nikki Parker in the sitcom The Parkers. But her career reached new heights in 2009 when she delivered a powerful performance as an abusive mother in Precious. This raw and impactful portrayal brought her critical acclaim and a well-deserved Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. However, despite the incredible momentum from Precious, Monique's screen appearances significantly decreased in the subsequent years. In 2015, she attributed this decline to her approach during the film's Oscar campaign. She said that she felt pressured to follow specific guidelines and attend certain events during the campaign, which she disagreed with. According to Monique, this caused friction with the film's director, Lee Daniels, and ultimately hurt her reputation within the industry. Daniels later offered a partial confirmation, stating that Monique's demands throughout the campaign differed from the established strategies. This led to some strain in their relationship and potentially with other members of the Hollywood community. While the full truth behind Monique's career trajectory after Precious remains unclear, her story continues to raise questions about artistic expression, industry norms, and the challenges faced by actors who challenge the status quo. Number 13. Isaiah Washington Isaiah Washington is a seasoned actor with a diverse filmography spanning television and film. While he has appeared in numerous projects, his portrayal of Dr. Preston Burke in Grey's Anatomy remains his most well-known role. Sadly, his career trajectory took a significant turn in 2007, when he was removed from the show after using a homophobic slur towards a castmate. The incident sparked widespread criticism and led to Hollywood shunning Washington for a considerable period. While the initial incident was already damaging, repeating the slur while celebrating the show's Golden Globe win solidified his public image and fueled the industry's reluctance to cast him. Though Washington hasn't fully disappeared from the screen, his work opportunities have drastically decreased compared to his pre-Grey's Anatomy days. He has taken on occasional projects and even landed a recurring role on The Hundred, but his acting career hasn't regained the momentum it once had. Number 12. Mel Gibson Mel Gibson's story in Hollywood is one of high peaks and steep valleys. From his golden years as a beloved actor and director in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, his image took a significant blow after several highly publicized controversies. His career reached new heights with films like Mad Max, Lethal Weapon, and Braveheart, which he both starred in and directed. He earned critical acclaim, box office success, and cemented his place as a Hollywood A-lister. However, a series of personal struggles and outspoken pronouncements led to a dramatic turn in his public perception. The 2006 drunk driving incident and subsequent anti-Semitic remarks sparked significant backlash. While Gibson publicly apologized and sought rehabilitation, the damage was substantial. He faced widespread condemnation, and Hollywood studios became hesitant to work with him. Following these events, Gibson largely stepped back from acting, focusing on directing projects like Apocalypto and the critically lauded Hacksaw Ridge. While his return to directing garnered praise, his acting appearances became infrequent and primarily in smaller films. The question about his future in Hollywood remains open. Some believe that time has healed wounds and forgiveness is possible. Others, particularly within the industry, continue to harbor reservations due to his past actions. Number 11. Stacy Dash Stacy Dash's journey in the spotlight has been marked by both notable successes and significant changes in her public persona. While she initially gained recognition for her comedic roles in Clueless and appearances on shows like Outnumbered, recent years have seen her become more known for her outspoken political views. People have the right to hold and express their own beliefs, regardless of which side of the political spectrum they fall on. However, the way those views are expressed and the specific content of those viewpoints can have consequences. In Dash case, some of her remarks, such as advocating for the end of Black History Month, have been met with significant criticism and ultimately led to her departure from Fox News. In addition to this, her outspoken opinions on sensitive topics like transgender rights have further propelled her into the spotlight of controversy, often clashing with the generally liberal leanings of Hollywood. These extreme views, coupled with her public platform, have undoubtedly influenced how she is perceived and likely contributed to a decline in her acting opportunities. Number 10. Tippi Hedren 
Tippi Hedren's Hollywood story is a complex one, intertwined with both brilliant career beginnings and personal challenges. While she rose to fame and critical acclaim under the direction of Alfred Hitchcock, her journey was marked by the director's alleged harassment and attempts to control her career. Before entering film, Hedren was a successful model. She soon caught Hitchcock's eye and landed the lead role in his 1963 thriller, The Birds. Her performance catapulted her to stardom, earning her a Golden Globe Award and establishing her as Hitchcock's muse. He further directed her in Marnie, solidifying her status as a leading lady. However, behind the scenes, Hedren faced disturbing experiences. According to her, Hitchcock became obsessed with her, making unwanted advances and exhibiting controlling behavior. When she refused his advances and attempted to break free from his contract, he allegedly retaliated by sabotaging her career. He kept her on the payroll without assigning her work and actively blocked opportunities from other studios. Despite the pain and injustice, Hedren has displayed remarkable resilience. Looking back, she chooses to focus on the bigger picture, stating, He ruined my career, but he didn't ruin my life. She acknowledges the devastating impact on her professional path, but refuses to let it define her. Number 9. Jim Caviezel Jim Caviezel is popular for taking on the lead role in the movie The Passion of the Christ. Before the movie, he was a promising actor with a rising star. However, his decision to portray Jesus proved to be a pivotal moment, impacting his career trajectory in significant ways. Even before filming began, Mel Gibson, the film's director, warned Caviezel of potential consequences. He emphasized the film's sensitive nature and the possibility of facing industry resistance. While acknowledging the risks, Caviezel remained committed to the project driven by his personal faith and belief in the story's importance. The Passion of the Christ garnered immense publicity and audience interest, but also became a subject of intense debate and criticism. Some praised its authenticity and emotional impact, while others raised concerns about its portrayal of violence and potential anti-Semitic interpretations. These controversies undoubtedly impacted Caviezel's career. He found it challenging to secure major roles in mainstream Hollywood productions in the years following the film's release. Despite the difficulties, Caviezel continues to hold firm in his convictions, stating that Jesus is as controversial now as he has ever been. He expresses no regrets about his decision and remains dedicated to portraying characters with depth and meaning. Number 8. Thora Birch Hi, my name is Thora Birch and I've been acting in film and television since I was four years old. Thora Birch's early career in Hollywood glittered with promise. A critically acclaimed performance in American Beauty and a Golden Globe nomination for Ghost World solidified her status as a rising star. Yet more than two decades later, her once bright trajectory has dimmed considerably. Birch herself attributes this shift to her own behavior and the industry's reaction to it. She acknowledges that her past actions and interactions may have ruffled feathers. I pissed a lot of people off over a long period of time, she stated. However, she also expresses frustration with what she perceives as manipulation in response. Adding to the complexities, Birch's career path might have been further impacted by her family dynamics. For years, her father served as her manager, a combination that proved volatile. Reports emerged of his physical threat towards a co-star during an off-Broadway production, contributing to her dismissal from the project. Number 7. Rose McGowan Rose McGowan, known for her iconic roles in Charmed, Jawbreaker, and Scream. Not even Marcy or Julie. It was her thing. I respected that shone brightly in the late 90s and early 2000s. However, her career trajectory took a sharp turn, and many believe it connects to her accusations against powerful movie producer Harvey Weinstein. McGowan alleges that Weinstein took advantage of her in the late 90s. This is an international rapist, okay? This is the truth of what it is. This is an international rape factory. While she didn't pursue criminal charges, she reached a $100,000 settlement with him. However, the alleged incident seemingly triggered a chilling consequence. McGowan claims she was blacklisted from Hollywood. Adding weight to these claims is filmmaker Robert Rodriguez's account. He attempted to break the alleged blacklist by offering McGowan a role in his film Grindhouse produced by a division of the Weinstein Company. Despite critical acclaim, the film's box office performance suffered. 
Rodriguez suspects Weinstein deliberately buried the film, contributing to its commercial disappointment. McGowan's story resonates with a larger movement of women coming forward about abuse and harassment in Hollywood. While her specific claims against Weinstein are currently untested in court, they raise serious questions about power dynamics and potential blacklisting within the industry. Number 6. Ashley Judd Another actress who faced challenges similar to Rose McGowan is Ashley Judd. Hollywood whispers point to Harvey Weinstein as the source of her career struggles, alleging he blacklisted her for refusing his unwanted advances. This suspicion gained weight in December 2017 when director Peter Jackson revealed Weinstein's interference in his casting choices for the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Jackson claimed Weinstein pressured him to blacklist Judd, painting her as a nightmare to work with. This led to her name being removed from the casting list. Judd took action in May 2018, filing a defamation lawsuit against Weinstein. She alleges his lies and negative campaigns about her in Hollywood deliberately sabotaged her career. Beyond her own case, Judd's commitment to using her voice for a larger cause is noteworthy. She announced that any compensation awarded through the lawsuit would be directed towards the Time's Up Legal Defense Fund. This act of solidarity aims to empower other American workers who face harassment and discrimination at their workplaces. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Hollywood, the land of dreams and nightmares. For some actors, the ascent to A-list fame is meteoric, but the fall from grace can be just as swift. A scandalous tweet, a leaked tape, a public meltdown. Suddenly, the red carpets turn to red tape, and the phones stop ringing. Some careers vanish like smoke, swallowed whole by controversy. Their faces fade from billboards, their names forgotten in whispers. Others manage a comeback, clawing their way back into the spotlight. But the scars remain. The roles are smaller, the budgets tighter, and the whispers of what happened never truly silenced. So, tell us, who are the actors you think Hollywood unfairly shunned? And for those who clawed their way back, was the cost too high? Let's keep the conversation going in the comments below. Number 5. Charlie Sheen Charlie Sheen's name used to be synonymous with success in Hollywood. He was the reigning king of sitcoms, commanding a staggering $1.8 million per episode for his role in Two and a Half Men. But like a roller coaster plunging from its peak, his career took a dramatic and unexpected turn. Since 2014, following his exit from the show amidst a storm of controversy, he has struggled to find consistent work, leading to financial difficulties and even claims of being blacklisted by the industry. The cracks in Sheen's seemingly perfect career first appeared in 2011. Public meltdowns, erratic behavior, and accusations of substance abuse made headlines, culminating in his dramatic firing from Two and a Half Men. Despite attempts to rebound, he couldn't recapture his past success. The sitcom Anger Management, which he headlined from 2012 to 2014, failed to match the ratings of his previous show. In 2018, Sheen's financial struggles became public when he filed requests to reduce child support payments to his ex-wives. In court documents, he claimed he was unable to find steady work and had been blacklisted from many aspects of the entertainment industry. While the exact reasons for this alleged blacklisting remain unclear, some speculate it could be linked to his past behavior or difficulties working with him on set. Sheen has never publicly provided specific details about being blacklisted, and the industry itself is notoriously tight-lipped about such matters. However, his career trajectory and his own statements suggest significant challenges in securing work. Whether the issue truly lies with blacklisting or other factors, one thing is clear. Charlie Sheen's fall from grace has been dramatic and swift. Number 4. Tara Subkoff In the 90s, Tara Subkoff's star seemed destined to shine brightly in Hollywood. She had landed roles in acclaimed films like As Good As It Gets, All Over Me, and The Last Days of Disco, showcasing her talent and potential. Then, while up for a part in a Harvey Weinstein movie, her promising path took a sharp and painful turn. At a premiere after party, Weinstein allegedly offered Subkoff the role followed by unwanted advances. When she refused, Subkoff claims she faced devastating consequences. She was painted as difficult and challenging to work with. She found herself shunned and unable to secure acting jobs, effectively blacklisted from the industry she loved. It became impossible for me to get work as an actress, Subkoff shared with Variety. The experience forced her to pivot. She left acting behind and forged a new path. This led to the birth of Imitation of Christ, a unique fashion and art label that channeled her creativity and resilience. 
Number 3. Jessica Biel Jessica Biel's career path hasn't always been a clear ascent like a rocket, but it's certainly been a fascinating voyage of discovery. While her breakout role in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre showcased undeniable talent, the following years presented a mixed bag of opportunities. Yes, there were supporting roles in big-budget films like Total Recall and I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry, but some of these choices landed her on the dubious stage of the Golden Raspberry Awards. Even facing setbacks, Beale demonstrated her versatility, taking on diverse roles and exploring various genres. However, losing out on major parts like Catwoman in the Batman series and Fantine in Les Miserables to Anne Hathaway must have been humbling. But Beale is much more than just a Hollywood figure. She found personal fulfillment by marrying renowned singer Justin Timberlake and starting a family with their son Silas. This new chapter brought immense joy and purpose, while venturing into the world of entrepreneurship with her own restaurant added another dimension to her life. So, while her film career might not have reached the stratosphere some initially predicted, Beale has carved out a fulfilling path for herself. Her journey reminds us that success comes in many forms, and sometimes, the greatest treasures lie outside the spotlight. Number 2. Taylor Lautner In 2008, Taylor Lautner burst onto the scene as Jacob Black, the brooding werewolf who captured the hearts of millions in the Twilight Saga. With his ripped physique and undeniable charm, Lautner quickly became a teen heartthrob and Hollywood golden boy. The Twilight franchise was a global phenomenon, grossing over $3.9 billion worldwide and making Lautner one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood. By the time the final film, Breaking Dawn Part 2, was released in 2012, it seemed like Lautner had the world at his feet. He had proven his acting chops in a demanding role, and everyone expected him to seamlessly transition into playing more mature characters. However, Lautner's post-Twilight career hasn't quite lived up to expectations. His first major post-Twilight project, the action thriller Abduction, was a critical and commercial flop. This was followed by a string of other unsuccessful films, such as Grown Ups 2 and Run the Tide. Several factors seem to have contributed to Lautner's struggles. He was typecast as Jacob Black, making it difficult for audiences to see him in other roles. His high salary after Twilight made it expensive for studios to cast him, limiting his opportunities. Additionally, some negative press surrounding his personal life may have also played a role. Despite these challenges, Lautner hasn't given up on acting. He has continued to take on roles in both film and television, and he's also exploring other creative endeavors, such as voice acting and producing. While he may not be the megastar he was once predicted to be, Taylor Lautner is still a talented actor with a dedicated fan base. It will be interesting to see what the future holds for him. Number 1. Nicolas Cage Back in the 90s and early 2000s, there was no escaping Nicolas Cage. He was on every big screen, his face plastered on movie posters and magazine covers. His name itself guaranteed box office gold, with studios shelling out millions just for him to grace their films. Wherever he went, red carpets rolled out and cameras flashed, capturing his every smirk and shrug for adoring fans and gossip rags alike. Nicolas Cage's acting prowess earned him awards for action-packed blockbusters like Lord of War, The Rock, and Face Off. He could make you laugh in comedies like Moonstruck and Raising Arizona, then send shivers down your spine in dramas like Leaving Las Vegas. He was the chameleon of Hollywood, effortlessly transforming into any character he touched. But then, around 2006, something shifted. The string of hits began to dwindle, replaced by films like The Wicker Man and Ghost Rider that met with lukewarm receptions. Whispers in the industry buzzed about Cage's mounting debts suggesting he might have been taking roles he wouldn't normally choose just to stay afloat. The magic seemed to fade, the red carpets rolled out less frequently, and the paparazzi's flashes started focusing on headlines like Cage's career crashing. Though his later filmography might not sparkle as brightly as his golden years, Nicolas Cage's impact on Hollywood remains undeniable. He's the actor who dared to be eccentric, unafraid to fully commit to roles even if they turned out to be duds. He's the living proof that talent and charisma can go a long way, even if the box office numbers don't always scream success. And who knows, maybe one day, that electrifying, unpredictable Nicolas Cage will return to the big screen, reminding us all why he once ruled the Hollywood kingdom with his own brand of brilliance. Thank you for watching this video, and see you in the next one.